always tell people the best place to start is actually finding a lender. Someone that can look at your income and tell you what you can actually afford. Because the last thing you want to do is fall in love with a home and then break your own heart because in the end, you can't actually afford it. The second thing you're gonna want to do is find a realtor that really knows the area, has experience, and can help you navigate that entire process. One thing most buyers don't realize is that even once you're under contract, you still need to maintain your credit score. So if you were to go buy a new car, maybe get a new job with a different income, or get excited and buy a whole house full of furniture on your credit card, you could actually hurt that credit score bad enough that you no longer qualify for the loan and can't purchase that home and fulfill that contract. There are four times throughout the process that you can actually void that contract if necessary. So the first one is if you do not receive a document called the seller property disclosure within three days, you can get out of it at that point. So that document tells you everything the current owner knows about that property. And that's important to know. And the second time you can get out of it is if during that inspection, which I already said has to happen within the 10 days, if you find things about that property that you want to be repaired and the sellers refuse, you have the option to get out then. The third time is going to be if for any reason your financing falls through. When they try to verify your income, maybe you don't have the correct documents for the correct amount of years, whatever the case may be. And then the fourth is going to be if the home does not appraise for the value that you have on that contract listed as the purchase price.